Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to show you how to update your HD Zero VRX to a custom boot logo. As always, I'm Jeff with Titan FPV and hopefully you'll acquire some knowledge today. Just a quick reminder guys, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. That allows me to get content out to more people and it definitely helps the channel out from no cost to you. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Many of us requested an option to change the Sharkbite boot logo uh, on the HD Zero VRX to a custom logo of our own design. And Carl has come through with that as always. So there's just a simple utility that you download. You do need a Windows PC to do this or knowledge of the FFmpeg app uh, to run a script to basically convert a 24-bit bitmap file. Uh, you want to size that to 7, 720p, so 1280 by 720. It's a simple process. Uh, you can take pretty much any uh, logo of your choosing. You can download one from the internet. Uh, I'm going to do a few here. One's my Titan FPV logo, as well as uh, I'm going to post a link to the uh, HD01, and I'll uh, link that file in the video description. So if you want to just grab that file, you won't even have to go through the entire process. Okay, we're going to head over to the Bitmap Converter website that I linked in the video description. Now you want the image to be scaled at 1280 by 720 already. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, I'm sure there's other videos on how to do that. My image is ready to go. You're going to go ahead and upload it. And then download the converted image file. All right, after you've got that converted and downloaded, we're going to head over to HD Zero's website. We're going to go on the support tab and click on downloads. Now you do want to make sure that you're running one of the more recent versions of the firmware. Uh, at this time, the most two recent versions of firmware support the custom boot logo. And we're going to scroll down and under the utilities there, there's a customized logo utility. We're going to download that and that's going to allow us to convert our bitmap file to an image, uh, a splash logo for our HD Zero VRX. We're going to rename our bitmap file to logo underscore me. Uh, you'll see why this is important here in a second. And we're going to unzip the customized logo utility. I went ahead and extracted this uh, to a temp folder I created in the root of my C drive. Uh, this is just per the directions there uh, in the instructions for the uh, customized logo utility. All right, and we're going to go ahead and move the logo me bitmap file to the same spot where we extracted the uh, customized logo utility. And there's already a logo me file in there. That's a test image there. Uh, you could try it with that file if you don't have your own logo. The VRX is going to boot up as normal with the Sharkbite logo if it does not see this logo me file on the root of the SD card. Once we have our SD card inserted, we're just going to copy this logo me file, the, the ME file, over to the root of the SD card. I already have one on mine, so I'm just going to overwrite 
the existing file, but you probably won't have one on yours. All right, let's go ahead and eject the SD card and then we'll insert it into our VRX. So now we're all kitted out there with our HD Zero custom logo. Uh, hopefully this video was informative, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. I got more HD Zero content coming your way shortly. I've got a review of the one watt Freestyle VTX along with uh, some frame options. As always, we'll catch you in the next one.